Chiefs touchdown. Fumbles, that's how you get in the coach's doghouse. The first one lost and it hurt. This time you lose it and it's taken in for a score. Oh, it's a fake. They'll try and throw for it. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Partner, they're up big. They snapped the ball from the 15 for a regular PAT. Yet they fake it and get it. Is the kicker's leg tired? <laughs> What's going on?
earlier. I don't know, but defensively, now with this deficit, now you add two more onto that. They fake the PAT. That stings a little. It definitely stings, and I know the guys that I played for, they wouldn't be as mad at the opposition as they would have been at us for allowing that to happen. And the 49er hands team does its job. The risk reward of the onside kick when you don't get it, the risk comes out to play, and here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them, and field position leads you to that type of play calling, and whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. Back now here in Santa Clara. Here we go, here we go. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Throwing on second down. Garoppolo. Jordan Matthews, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. The Niners on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and ten. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And that will be incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. The outcome of this one... Well, we know who's going to win it. It's just all window. Addressing at this point. Got me thinking, what's, what's the biggest blowout that you've been a part of as a player, broadcaster? Well, I'm not going to go to the player part because when I think blowout... Because you won every game as a player. No, no, no. I think about being blown out. And no one wants to go back to those memories. But, you know, when I was calling college football, I saw a game that... You know, team put 70. I actually saw it happen twice. A team put 70 on their opponent. And in the NFL in the 2017 season, I saw one of those changing of the guard games where a team that hadn't been very good before now was dominating and kicking around a team who had been ruling their division. And that's when you earn your paycheck, right? Yes, as, the, as the analyst, you got to fill that time. You've got to know what's going on out there and how it all happened. Well, obviously, that begs the question. What game was it? That was Seattle hosting Los Angeles, the Rams. Ah, yeah. Their second meeting of the season, and the Rams turned it around from the first one and blew out the Seahawks. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. And that is caught one-handed. Oh.